Hi everyone, thank you for watching. This is going to be how to eat raw garlic part two. Um, I think this is long overdue and obviously how to eat garlic raw health benefits is my second most popular video. Uh, it's got 140,000 views or something. I think it might be a little less than that, but it's in that in that range, and it's just unbelievable. So I appreciate everyone who has uh, who has seen the video and has learned from it, and and I'm sure it's it's benefited many um, as it continues to benefit. And I still I still do that. I still eat raw garlic. Uh, it's just. Uh, the research even just every year even this year more research coming out on the health benefits of garlic um, and so in this video I'll show you how to do it now let me show you how I currently do it let me go ahead and take it step by step here so what I have here is I have a cutting board this is the last clove of the bulb so that's what's left and what I like to do is I like to just take off as much of the peel as, mu as, as much and what I do is I'll take the knife flat and I'll just this is kind of a big clove. Sometimes it works. This one is a little bit... There we go. Hear that little snap? That's easy. It just kind of comes right off. Um, it just split right down the center. So there it goes. Yep, there we go. There you can see it right there. You can do it that way or you can simply just cut it down the center. I'm sure people have you know faster ways to do this using garlic press. But I like to do this by hand. That's just my personal choice. I like to, uh, I guess I like to feel like I have some chef, some culinary skills. Um, this makes me feel that way. But <laughs> anyway, uh, the most important thing with the garlic is you want to try and cut it in as many pieces as possible. Because when you cut it in more slices, you're increasing the surface area of the garlic. And what does that do? Well, that increases the chemical reaction that occurs. It gives it that odor and that's actually that's the only negative uh, but I think I think this thing is a, is a, is a, is a, is a game changer and a lifesaver in, in, in a lot of instances garlic is just in, it's just a, it's as, a, as, a, as I've said in my last video or in the description it's the closest thing to a natural panacea and I truly not only believe that because I've experienced the benefits of garlic um, I remember probably every year or two I'd get like one cold or get run down or maybe even catch the flu I mean knock on wood but I have not gotten sick or, or sick to the point where I had to miss work in probably the last I don't know probably the last four or five years and, and that's when I started to really kind of get into this eating it raw and with this recipe it is just so palatable it's almost like a classic Italian or Mediterranean style way to do it. So as you can see I'm cutting it up and let me get back to that discussion um, about the benefits here. So there is a um, compound called um, I think it's Allen or yeah Allen and the enzyme Allenase catalyzes which is basically it, it, it you know spurs the the chemical reaction and it allows the it allows the allen to be converted to allicin and so that's so allicin's the main component of garlic that get but there's many other components in fact if you look at the bottom of this video in the description I went ahead and attached some studies on some different Compounds. They're they're called. They're, I believe they're called organo sulfur compounds. But there's many in garlic, and allicin is just one of many. So there we have it. Went ahead and finished mincing it up. I can mince it up more, but this is good enough for me. So let me take you to the next step. All right. So now that I've finished cutting up the garlic, I'm just going ahead and transfer it to this little little plate here. Make sure I get every piece, every piece on there, because it's. I mean, you know, the fact that I'm saying that just lets you know how how much I value garlic, and how much I I believe and know and 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 what I and what the research strongly supports in regards to its health benefits. And the bottom line is this, people. 
people may say, oh, you know, it's it's like you can't say that it's you know it's it's not a drug. It's uh, well, <laughs> been clinical trials that have shown that it actually rivals uh, many drugs that lower blood pressure, reduce cholesterol, and and so forth. So, um, and there's really bottom line, it's 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 essentially a natural food. It's common in many cuisine, many cuisines. It's a great flavor enhancer. It's a, I think it's technically an herb, if I'm not mistaken. It can be classified as a vegetable. The bottom line is this, it's a natural food source, folks. And uh, this is the way I eat it, and it's a great way to eat it. Let me show you how I top it. So I have my sumac, it's my favorite spice. I like to get a good amount of this. Alright folks, my camera just died on me, so we're, we're coming down the home stretch here, okay? Here's turmeric. So, like I said, we're coming down the home stretch here. Alright, so turmeric, super spice, potent anti-inflammatory. I like to put some of that on there. You don't have to put too much. That's probably too much, but hey, you know, looks looks good for the video. I'm going to take some uh, black pepper. And this, this is credit to one of the viewers in my last video on the garlic. They said that uh, black pepper increases the bioavailability of, the bioavailability of turmeric. And they were at 100% correct because I researched it and they were absolutely right. The last piece, the last two pieces I like to add, I like to add pumpkin seeds. I know I did sunflower seeds. I like pumpkin seeds. I also like sunflower seeds, but I will tell you this. What I really like is fire roasted pumpkin seeds. And I don't have any left, but those taste unbelievable on this recipe. So what I do is I just mix it up. Just mix it up. Real easy. Simple. And if, if, if you can believe it, in the beginning of the video, there's one big huge garlic clove in here. And I will actually, this combination brings out the, the great taste and flavor of garlic. And it'll mask the burning sensation or any of the uh, I mean, as far as the, uh, the mouth odor, I mean, there's many things you can do. Like in my last video, you can use mouthwash or you can use, you can maybe have a little lemon juice after or a little parsley, I heard, cuts the, uh, the odor. But, you know, one clove is probably not going to really affect um, odor. It's not going to seep through your pores, I don't believe. One clove, it won't do it. I love the flavor. The last thing I like to add, if you're vegan, it's a natural source of iodine. It's kelp granules. Sometimes I'll add some of this on that. Just because vegans tend to, in some instances, we tend to not consume as much iodine, and that's a great way, a way to kind of natural way to increase your iodine. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching, and tune in next time.